Hello and welcome to another Spruce and Brews video. Today we are looking at the Bjornings and Grimbjorn for the Middle Earth strategy battle game. So first of all I want to say a massive thanks to Games Workshop for sending these over to uh, to review and build up and paint. Um, yeah, really looking forward to these guys. The, in, in the Defence of the North uh, supplement book we saw um, the, the rules for these guys added. And the Legendary Legion if you want to take a whole army of shapeshifting bear men which is absolutely a thing I'm going to do and quite achievable to do really as well um, Bjorn and Grim Bjorn I think off the top of my head are 200 points each and the Bjornings are like 20 points each so you could do a really cool little 500 point uh, kind of force with the two characters and just five of these guys so yeah definitely a fun one um, they can be allied in quite a few um, armies as well so there's some fun stuff you can do with them but let's have a look at the miniatures because um, I've got to say I think Grimbjorn is one of my favourite models that Forge World have put out for the uh, Middle Earth strategy battle game he is so so cool so what we'll do let's crack this open and have a look at the parts and we'll have a look at the Bjornings and then later on in the video I'll have these built up and we'll see what they look like in the flesh so here's everything that you get in the blister and obviously a large bulk of it is him in his bear form with some really, really nice sculpts on this. Now obviously if you've not worked with resin before, um, it's always a good idea to give it a good clean. The way the models are made, uh, they use rubber moulds and have a release agent on them to help them pop out of the mould. And sometimes if you don't give them a clean, some of that release agent stays on the model and it can stop your paint from adhering. So yeah, just make sure you give it a good clean first. There's a really nice kind of sculpted base as well that the bear stands on. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, we have got the other legs. He's got a big chunky bear when he's built. Obviously, like I say, at the end of the video, um, we'll have a look at him assembled and see what he looks like. And then his face. Really cool character full sculpt. Uh, and then we get Grimbjorn in his like human form. Again, really nice sculpt on him. Looking forward to painting up. The advantage of kind of armies like this, uh, you're only going to have a handful of models. Even if you did a 700 point force, you've not got that many models really. So you can spend a bit more time going to town on painting them up and giving them some nice bases. I think some cool bases with those like foliage just on the kind of bottom of them will be really good. And here's his bow. And pointing arm and obviously you get a base for him in his bear form and in his little form as well so um, what we'll do we'll cut ahead here and see what it looks like uh, assembled and here he is assembled and I've got to say it is such a nice model so first of all we know that at him on foot really really cool model I'm uh, very much looking forward to painting this one up um, also just be careful the axe um, snapped during assembly on mine so I managed to fix it pretty cleanly but yeah just be careful you've got some small kind of bristle parts but yeah he's really cool and we have got him in his bear form who again looks equally amazing I'm uh, really really looking forward to putting a force together with these I'm thinking randomly as well uh, maybe allied in with a hobbit force it'd be pretty cool add a bit of uh, Something other than a million hobbits in that army. So yeah, that is Grimbjorn. So onto the Bjornings themselves, and having had just had a quick look at the parts, this is actually a really customizable kit. So you get three models, but each of those models has got options for a bow, you've got two-handed axes in there, you've got two single axes, and you've got a choice of two heads for each of them. So like I say, you don't need a massive model count for a um an army of these using the Legendary Legion. I think off the top of my head, if you're doing a 700 point list, you'd have like 15 of these guys. Well, each of these kind of individual models, with it having a few different weapon options and a few different head options, and obviously painting them with some different looking clothes, you'll actually have quite a lot of variety over the force. So that really, really assures me because I kind of thought that we'd be locked into these poses. And as cool as that is, it'd be a bit samey across the force. So it's really cool that even with kind of a limited model count, you're going to have lots of variety. So let's have a quick look at some of these uh, parts before we look at the assembled model. 
Again, forge welds, so really, really nice detail on them. They are all labelled as well, A, B and C, because it does look like there are um, specific parts that go with specific models. Um, so, again, if you've got a couple of packs of these, you'll be able to kind of plan out to make sure they all look different, which is really cool. Uh, a quick look at the arms, if it wants to focus. You've got some cool little touches in there, like there's someone holding an arrow, there's somebody kind of drawing a bow. So yeah, there's some really cool stuff in there. Again, for the actual um, weapons, certainly arms go with them, so certainly make sure you kind of dry fit them first before you start putting it all together. But they are very cool. So some axes there. And then some single handed ones. And then the heads, and to be fair, the spare heads that you get will probably be usable in other projects as well. Because you get a total of six in here, which is nice. So yeah, that's a quick look at the bits of the uh, the Bjornings. So again, let's have a look at what they look like assembled. And we have the finished Bjornings, and what I've tried to do is build them in uh, variants that aren't on the cover art, just to give you an idea of what else you can build with the box. So this is the one on the box that's got the um, bow and arrow, I believe, and uh, yeah, give them the axe instead. And with the head looking a different direction, it's a very different kind of pose than the, the other variant, which is good. Um, all in all, I think you can make about seven different kind of poses, but then each model's got two heads as well, so you will get quite a bit of variety over a war band. And like you say, you don't need masses of these guys. So, yeah, so here's really cool. Uh, this one, uh, I didn't want to go over my bow allowance, so I built this one with the axe as well. Again, she's got two different heads as well, uh, but can also build her with a bow and an axe in half hand, which is pretty cool. So my second pack, I'll probably build her like that. And then the one with the two axes on the box actually builds three different models. Uh, you can build it with the two axes, again with the kind of two-handed axe, or just uh, released an arrow like this. So yeah, I'm really quite impressed with, um, with how they put this kit together. So that is look at Grim Bjorn and the Bjornings for uh, the Defense of the North supplement for the Middle Earth Strategy Battle game. Uh, really, really cool models. I'm definitely going to put together a little force of these, add another couple of blisters of uh, Bjornings and get a, uh, a nice little force together. Uh, again, massive thanks to Games Watch for sending us this. A little bit early for us to have a look at. Um, this stuff only arrived today, so I've not had a chance to paint it yet. When I do, um, I'll, I'll get some painted images up. I've got a companion article up on the website alongside this with the video embedded, so if you head to spruceandbrews.com. Once I've got some painted images, I will update that with all the, with the, all the images on there and get them painted. Um, we're looking to do some battle reports for the Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game as well. So this is a nice quick force I can get together for uh, maybe going through some of the uh, the legendary legions in the Defence of the North. So yeah, if you've enjoyed this, why not give us a follow? Um, we do lots of unboxings and, and kind of Warhammer Middle Earth kind of videos. So yeah, lots of exciting stuff on the horizon. Uh, but until next time, have a great day and we'll see you later.